I don't know if you are aware, but th there is a new game coming up that is called Project Triangle Strategy, and I'm very thrilled about this one because I love strategy games. I'm a very f big fan of Final Fantasy Tactics, and this one looks super promising. So I was thinking, like maybe we can remake this level, which is including the demo. You can download if you have a Nintendo. You can check this demo and maybe we can recreate this one in inside Unreal Engine using mega scans um, some modeling here and there and let's take a look at the map let's take a look at the video for a moment on my honor as the dawn spear shall we begin All right, so basically it's a battle in a bridge, a very classical RPG battle where we need to create the bridge and the gate and the players need to go through the gate. So we're going to create that. So before doing that, let's analyze a little bit of what's inside the game. So the first thing, of course, is the say this pad here this pad and we're gonna use max for that or maybe the unreal modeling tools to create one of this and you can see there are different textures here in the map like this one has the brick like this this is the same one and this is the same one however there is another one here looking into another direction another thing that we have here is basically some plants here and there to break up the the, rep, the repetitive feeling of the bricks. So, um, one thing to notice is that, of course, unless you have the overall colors of the scene, but like the the foliage here are a different color of the of the floor so what do i mean by that is that they have a different hue let's take a screenshot here let's copy it and let's move down to photoshop let's paste it so if we take a look at this one let's check the color here you can see you have like a purplish everyone every, every pixel of the environment will have like a purple one but if i click on this one you will see that my hue drastically changes so Especially here, you can see that uh, I'm here looking at this color here. And if I click on this one, you will see I'm around this area. But if I click on this one, I go more or less to this area. So we're going to have the first the floor here. This is one. Let, let's, let's try to break it down like this. So it's always a good idea to, you know, like you have like the floor you know what <laughs> it's gonna be a mess so one is the floor the other thing is like these walls here these walls here that we can reuse this can be a modular piece here all right or it can be a complete one it, it really doesn't matter so that's one thing and the other thing is this support pillar here all right so those are our main three elements that we need to create i think it's gonna be a really exciting project really um you have other small ones here and then you have other props like the flags here and small little fences here to sell the scale let's take a look back at the video here let's go back some seconds before Okay, so here what we have is our gate and let's take a look at the gate here. So first of all, we have our brick here and we have a, we have a stairs, whoops, sorry, I don't know what happened, but okay, anyway. 
Okay, so we have the stairs here. That's one element. And we also have the gate. We can use the mega scans to create this one and the modeling tools. And we also have this pillar here, like this, this column here that occupies all the space. We will take a look at how we can create this one. All right. Then we have other ornaments here, just like this. Let's put another color here. There you go. And then you have like a wooden platform here. So basically, um, this part is repeating here. That's that's one thing. All right. So not so much work actually. If you want to create a level like this, let's keep taking a look. On my honor as the dawn spear. Okay. So here we have a small balcony. So let's copy this one. And here what we will do is Okay, so we have this pillar. We can use the same one as this one. I, I think we can we can use this one. The same here. Uh, just keep in mind that we have a balcony here. This is our new element. And also we have some windows. So we may be able to create some windows here and there. And also the same stairs. We have the stairs here. All right. So, and also you have this part of the gate. I cannot see in this screenshot, but we need to connect the gate with another part. So, and then we have the top, which is a house. Um, I will grab screenshots later, but let's keep looking at the video. And then you have this bridge here, which is a wooden bridge. And what is interesting about this one is like it visually separates between two different areas of your game. One is the first part of the battle that is here. In inside this area you can see that the, the floor is different. And when you reach to the, the other area, this area, you can see that the bridge is actually different. It's it is different. It has it has a different language. So of course this is the bridge that connects to the castle, and you can put a lot of reasons. But the most important reason here is that there are basically two areas in the game. The first act, if you will, may call it, is when the players get are trying to open the gate. That's one part. And the second part is when the players open the gate. So there's a it it is visually different and you want to have that in your games. So for this area we actually will use the same assets. We have a new one here just for the for the wooden bridge and also the wooden plants here. We're gonna use Quixel to create those. And also we have some other things here, like the now, this area here have some stairs here. We will take a look at those later. For now, we will take care of the level design in Unreal first. Um, it's gonna be exciting. After the, this project is done, it's gonna it's gonna be free for download to, uh, for everyone. Uh, if you if you want to digest what we're doing in in this video series. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be ex exciting, and I'm personally interested in this piece, how it will look like, like in Unreal, super realistic look. And of course, we can add some fantasy elements into it. But yeah, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna release a video series about this, and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. There, I think there's a lot of concepts we need to learn in order to create this one and it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting journey where you can learn more about level art and how to create your own levels so if you like this video give us a like subscribe let us know in the comments which kind of tutorial you would like to watch and we may do a video about it and if you are creating a game in a real engine 
check the links in the description to get some help and also some free resources on our website that you can download. Alright, so I'll see you in the next one.